Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here, and yesterday the 205 General Manager, the Mystery General Manager, was finally revealed in the form of none other than Rockstar Spud, now known as Drake Maverick. So, <clears throat> this is big stuff. Um, it seems like they're like kind of revamping 205 Live and doing it how it was like originally intended to, intended for, and like what the fans visioned. Um, the formula of what made the Cruiserweight Classic so great finally looks like they're actually going to bring that over. So I'm really happy about it. How it's described, it sounds exactly like what people want from 205 Live. Or at least me. Um, I don't. I can't speak for like everybody, obviously, but um, it looks like that they're actually going to do things like make it fun, make it exciting, high flying, and you know, like what the Cruiserweight Classic was all about. Uh, Daniel Bryan kind of said all this when he was introducing Drake, Maverick, Rockstar Spud, whatever. Uh, real quick, I saw uh, like a, a few people saying, uh, you know, Rockstar, he'll always be Rockstar Spud to me, and that's a horrible name, and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it'll probably take me a while to say uh, Drake Maverick. I'll, I'll probably always refer to him still as Spud. Uh, but to say just Drake Maverick's such a stupid name, and why would they change it, blah, blah, blah. I don't think Rockstar Spud's the greatest name in the world. For that character at, at the time, I think it's a good. It was a good name, and um, it was it kind of like, kind of told like what it was like the big picture of what you're gonna get with uh, the wrestler Rockstar Spud himself. But in authority role, I think a, a, ch a name change was fine. Drake Maverick, I'm pretty okay with that. Um, I look forward to seeing where he goes with all this. So I'm just really happy for the guy. Um, to see him, you, you know, for all these years, scratch and claw to make his way to the WWE. Um, and like, you know, a few years ago, you would not think the WWE would be going after a guy of his size. I never want to think size is an issue when signing a wrestler, but it's always, you know, really nice to see when WWE does it. And they're putting him in such a big role. Uh, general manager, you know, that's, that's pretty crazy that he was a former TNA wrestler and they have so much faith in him that they're going to let him be like the quote unquote face or the figurehead of, uh, one of their big brands. Now, obviously not their biggest brand, probably the smallest brand that they invest or care about. Um, but it, it's really cool that he's actually going to be general manager and I'm actually really, really looking forward to it. And, um, they're going back on track with how the Cruiserweight Classic was because they're doing a 16 man tournament to crown the new Cruiserweight Champion, which I think is awesome, especially since it's going to end at WrestleMania. So I'm guessing, I, I fingers crossed it's not a pre-show match. I, I would hope with uh, 16 competitors in a single elimination tournament that's dragged out all the way to WrestleMania, I would hope it would get a, a, a match on the main card. Um, but I think it's awesome that it's being stretched to WrestleMania. Because uh, you can continue with these little storylines, but this is this should showcase the talent. It should be awesome matches like we saw at the Cruiserweight Classic. Yes, storylines are important, but 205 Live, I mean, they're already featured on Raw. I mean, it's and it, it really wasn't working out uh, with Enzo as champ and like all these weird, stupid storylines and some of the wrestlers really doing nothing. Um, now that they're in tournaments and stuff, I'm actually really looking forward to it. They're bringing in new people. Tyler Bate and Roderick Strong were, or Roderick Strong's wrestling next week, but Tyler Bate was already on. Um, so I'm really glad they're they're getting like all these talents just to wrestle on this brand to show, I guess, how like how different it's gonna be and a new era of 205 Live, if you will. I'm actually lo really looking forward to it because I feel like we're gonna get a lot a lot of good wrestling and fun matches. I heard last night's show. I have not watched it. Sorry, I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video because I act like I know what I'm talking about. Um, but I I'm going to watch uh, yesterday's episode just see how like different it was. Then that will be the first ever 205 Live episode I've ever watched, um, which is kind of funny. But um, I, I, I really want to see this like do well, and I want people to enjoy 205 Live. If we're getting matches like that, and I like let's say I go to a SmackDown event, I would want to stay after if I'm seeing Hideo Itami versus Roderick Strong to see who goes on to the next round. Um, if you A few weeks ago, a few months ago, if you asked me if I would stay after SmackDown for a 205 live show, I'd probably say no. Um, actually, I would say no. I, I, I would not go stay for that. But I, I, I love tournaments. I made a video <clears throat> talking about King of the Ring and um, a while back, and I, I just love tournaments and, and wrestling, and I, I think this will be a really fun one. And it'll get to showcase their talent they don't, they don't get a showcase a lot. Yeah, on Raw, but usually it's in, like, multi-man tag matches. So 
everybody in the tournament will get to showcase something in their match, even if they lose. So I'm excited for this. Drake Drake Maverick, I'm looking forward to. Rockstar Spud, whatever you want to call him, um, I'm happy about. Him being a face, I saw some people were like, that sucks, he's not a heel. When they introduce a new general manager, I would much rather it be a face. I'm, I'm getting sick of the WWE heel general manager um, to extent. I, I feel like Daniel Bryan, that's kind of interesting right now. Shane McMahon, it's interesting. Uh, but I, 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 I would rather have him come in as a face, honestly, as a manager. And then it'll evolve. Because then when he, if he does become a heel, you'll see, a, I think, a better character development on why he became a heel and why he's choosing to do those things. That's kind of why I, I like the Daniel Bryan thing a little better um, than a straight-up heel as soon as he comes in. So those are my thoughts. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. It was, it was longer than it should have been. Um, but let me know your thoughts down below on Rockstar Spud being the new general manager of 205 Live. How do you book 205 Live in the future? Do you think this is a new era or do you think it's going to end up being same old, same old? So let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, have a great day.